everybody and welcome back to all about the popcorn my name is stephanie thank you all for clicking on this video so today we're going to be talking about raya and the last dragon of course a few times that i have gone to the theater i have brought you guys along so i'll see you guys in the car after the movie is done to hear the thoughts <laughs> Hey guys, we just finished watching Raya and the Last Dragon. So before we do get into our thoughts, uh, let me go ahead and go ahead and give you a few facts. I'll put them up here as well. Um, so it is rated PG. It is a fantasy um, animation. Uh, I went 57 minutes long. It is with Disney. It is directed by Carlos Lopez. At, oh, Carlos Lopez Estrada and Don Hall. I was trying to give it less of a name there. <laughs> uh, Kelly Marie Tran uh, voices Raya. Aquafina is Sisu. I came to AMC. It's the first time we've come to AMC. We usually go to... Well, actually, we've done Studio Movie Girl. We've done Cinemark. And now AMC. <laughs> um, honestly, out of all the three... This is probably my least favorite experience as far as coming back throughout the pandemic. It doesn't seem as clean as the other ones, to be honest with you. I don't know if it's just because of the AMC that we're coming to. It's not the... Maybe we had gone to North Park. Might have been Probably. better. I don't know. What did you think? What? It was the least clean of all the ones that we've done. I would stick with Studio Movie Girl or Cinemark. Um, I mean, maybe we could try AMC again, but it would have to be AMC, maybe like North Park. We came to AMC 30. If you're from the Dallas area, it's one in Mesquite. But enough with the theater. Let's go ahead and get on with our thoughts on Raya. What did you think about it? It was a cute movie. It made me tear up. Yeah, there at the end, I was just like, okay, so I, I just needed, you know, no, no, like big old alligator tears, just like a yeah. little bit of watery. You're just like, okay, I don't even need to like go like this. It, I love the animation overall. I think it was yeah. great. Like they seem like, like almost like real people, right? Like yeah, uh, yeah. it was, it was cool. It was kind of strange. I'm like, oh. Um, I love like the dad's hair. Yeah, his hair, and even like when they did close-ups on uh, Sisu, uh, when Raya was hugging her. I know, like it the, looks so like real. Rubbery. Yeah, I was like, oh my god, he's like so funny, I wanna catch it. <laughs> he's so flippy, I'm gonna die. Although I guess it could almost be like, like Pixar-y, but it is just strictly Disney, because I didn't feel like it was so PG-ish. Like, there was like a lot of not like happy times, right, mm -hmm. happening. We have sword fighting, which is awesome, so I feel like it really is like for the whole family like i know like our dad like he loves animation so he would you yeah. know this is something he would really enjoy especially because there is a lot of fighting yeah so it's gonna be really if you're like parents or like if you have a parent who's watching this more than likely um is really not keen on like animation um and you do like like sword fights or just like you know stuff like that i feel like you would get something a little bit more out of it um thankfully our parents love animation so but that would okay. that this personally that those that those fight scenes would really take it to that extra level of enjoyment for them i like the choreography that they did for them <laughs> right it was really good it is a little too dark for like smaller children yeah when i saw it i'm like this is really dark e e even though nobody dies yeah technically right nobody yeah. is dead they're just into stone but they're still going Years, years without their family the loved ones in the way that they have to kind of go and mm -hmm. and survive and everything so you as a parent you know you know what your child is able and not able to handle so that would be on you you know on whether something like this would be for your kid it's still for the family there's no death technically but but you know i feel like the dragon um sisu really kind of brings up the charm there's a calm baby you guys <laughs> <laughs> A con baby? Yeah, I really did enjoy the, the movie. Now, I mean, do you recommend the $30 oh. Disney Plus Premium for people who are maybe not comfortable going to the theaters or more importantly, if they're not open in theaters? I mean, obviously, if they're not open, you want to watch it, well, then, you know, that's on you. But either way it goes, you know, in a couple months, it's going to be on Disney uh, Plus for free. But, like, would you recommend it for the $30? I wouldn't pay $30. Yeah, me Even either. though it was cute. I wouldn't pay thirty dollars for this movie. Yeah, me neither. Twenty dollars has already kind of pushed it for me for whenever I do the Amazon Prime like mm -hmm. uh, early access. That's already kind of pushing it. But 
I really just don't see myself paying $30 for an animated uh, movie. Um, I did not do it with Mulan. I waited for it to be free. I ended up, well, I didn't even actually review it. I just talked about it <laughs> on my monthly tier list in December when it dropped on Disney Plus for free in December. Um, so yeah, in a couple months, this will be on Disney Plus. I, I don't know exactly what day um, it'll be on there. So I personally would recommend for you guys to wait to get it for free unless you know you have like a big family like if you have like a bunch of kids or nieces and nephews and you know maybe you can get together one weekend and just watch the movie and everybody can kind of pitch in then it wouldn't be as bad but us we don't have any she's the baby for the family so we don't have any kids so yeah i really don't see myself paying thirty dollars we paid um seven eight dollars right yeah and then i just got a popcorn and i have like the amc star deal so i had like five dollar credit so my my whole going here was like Timba. <laughs> I mean, with all that said, it's a really cute movie. I really liked it. I think I'm gonna go ahead and give it a medium popcorn. Do you agree with that? Medium popcorn. Yeah, medium popcorn, both of us. Those are our thoughts on uh, Raya and the Last Dragon. If you've seen it, what did you guys think about it? Did you like it, did you love it, did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Are you gonna wait for it to be free? Have you paid for it? Totally fine, whatever floats your boat, man, if you're able to afford it, that is great. Uh, but I'm glad I got to see it on the big screen because I, you know, it, it's, you get to see more of the detail. Unless you have like an awesome like television, you know, 4K <laughs> shit, then whatever. That's it from us today. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.